It's Bourbon Nights Live. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Welcome in, everyone. Uh, Happy Sunday. This just in on the news desk. Oh, great. <laughs> uh, drink more bourbon. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I think that's Good doable. Boy. I think we can do that. There we go. How is everyone doing? Good, I hope. It's fine, Eni. I just ran up the stairs. I hear that in your, in your voice. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so tonight we're doing barrel bourbon. Yeah, barrel bourbon. Um, so the, uh, not so much, not really the distillery, but the advertising agency mm -hmm. behind Barrel Craft Spirits uh, sent us five samples. Um, we noticed that the fifth sample is the same that uh, Drew Bolin sent gave us a, a full bottle of that we did. Was that last week? That was last week. Yeah. It's only been a week, Chad. That's right. So if you want to see that one. That was on last week. Just go back a week. But since we've already, well, clearly we've liked it in the past week. It's, yeah, uh, so it's going well. So it's got some some good, um, what do you call it, hype for these other four. Sure. Since we liked it, so we're gonna take um, that one out. Yeah, we don't need to review it again, but we no. do have a couple other full bottles: a cast strength, a dovetail, and a rye back here. Mm -hmm. So we'll do these four, and then at the end we can kind of see how we're feeling, and maybe pull one of those and uncork that. So. There you go. That's there you what we're going to do. Yeah. We've got a super chat, but we need some. I personally need something in my glass. <laughs> well, let's just. Um, how about we just start? All right, let's just start. Let, how about this one? Fill the frame. Sure, that one. Well, sure. I'll unfill it for you. All right, good. <laughs> okay, great. This is for you, Joseph. Um, ah, Joseph Brazo. So this is the. Pri they're all private release. Uh, this is 121.8 proof, and this is blend AH14. Now, Chad got it, pulled up the decoder ring because uh, <laughs> I was like, "What is that?" Um, AH14 is all. They're all blends of Kentucky. Um, it says a blend of Kentucky whiskeys. Um, the largest components of all of these being an 18-year-old. Mm -hmm. Now the difference is going to be the finish in all of these. So. Let's go back here. And the finish on this one is Calvados finish, yes. which I don't know much about that. Um, no. So yeah, I... Refer to my notes. Refer to your notes. These don't help. <laughs> uh, yeah, it just says finish in a Calvados cask. I know nothing about that. You know, we could have researched that before. What, what number was it? AH14. AH14. Uh, this tells me exactly what exactly the label the tells us. Tells so, us. so who's going to be our, our right. Googler tonight? Who's going to Google? <laughs> is um, uh, is uh, Matt Whiskey Crusaders uh, in here? Oh, usually, yes. He you know, usually knows that he stuff. He knows these things. Trash. Right off the bat. All right. We'll get a couple of these. I love how you guys are jockeying for first place. We have a first, second, and third with the Super Chats already. Thank you for those. Okay. Okay. Just, you know, you never know. You never know. There we go. I'll trade you if you want. No, that's fine. Okay. For the... <laughs> that, that, that's not how caps I work. swear she hasn't had any today. I have not. No. Uh, yeah, for those... For the Super Chats. Super Chats, thank you. First, second, and third, Joseph Cowbell Scott and yours. Eric. We still have fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, uh, all ninth, those tenth. Those are all open. available. Uh... <laughs> Let the bidding commence. Has anyone, have I missed it? A French apple brandy. Thank you, Halden. Okay. That sounds delicious. 121.8 proof. Um, wowzers. It's a hell of a way to start off the show. It is. Wow. Hey, there's fourth. <laughs> that is... I get the, like, the sweet... Ooh, it's kind of like apple -y. a caramely... But in like the... I'm not... I don't dabble so much in the brandy finish mm -hmm. stuff, but I do like it. Um, so I should just do that. I just need to. Just I just need, need to just have some. I just need to have a brandy in the smoking room. Um, the sm <laughs> okay, first step: get the smoking room. We can have a smoking room. Second step: any room's a smoking room if you want it to be. Dabble in, in dabble brandy. in brandy and leather bound books. <laughs> yeah, wear your smoking jacket. I'm getting uh, cooked or uh, cooking cinnamon apples on the stovetop. Mm. Yeah. yeah, a little it's bit of like, peel still on there. I don't and really get the apple and a, so much. And a grape component, like a white grape. Um, whew, smells good, anyway. It does smell good. Yeah. Yeah, let's, the brandy's nice. Let's go for it. Mmm. 
Oh, I like that. Uh oh, sorry, we have an angry dog. Whoa, that's not cool. Excuse me a second. <laughs> the dog's all up in the new blinds. Wow. Making a mess. She's in trouble now. <laughs> it's a it's a flag on the play. All right, we got a couple more super chats while Chad's gone. I'll just go ahead and get those. Uh, Shadowhawk says, fourth, still waiting on the Rare Breed Forgiven review. So we still need to do that. Um, Brian says, fifth, <laughs> we're digging this Rebel Yell Distillers collection batch proof, uh, but barrel next. I don't know that I've had that one. Um, I'll have to ask Chad. Sometimes I just can't remember the things that we've had. And then Nick said, uh, taking the gold spot. There you go. Mm. It drinks a little hot, but I don't know that I would have put it at 121. Okay. And I'm back. What did I miss? You missed nothing. Okay. <laughs> what do you say you wondered if you'd had? Um, the, Brian said that, uh, they're drinking the Rebel Yell Distillers Collection Batch Proof, and I don't recall ever having seen that. No. So we that's... We have not had that. That is something... Yeah. I was like, either I can't remember, or I've never had that. Hmm. Um, and Ashley says, we'll send two samples tonight to a lucky recipient if we hit 300 likes. See, Ashley, Bam. I love that team spirit. Also, it doesn't involve a Jaeger bomb, which let's just go ahead and put it out there right now. We are not doing... I could not sleep last Sunday um, <laughs> because of the energy drink and so, just Jaeger pulsing through my veins. All so jacked up on the... I am yeah. officially vetoing any Jaeger on Sunday nights when there's a work day the next day. Boom, she said If it. not all of them. Apologies, it's not going to happen. <laughs> I cannot not sleep. <laughs> I mean, I would I would do it. That's probably not... That's probably 50% enjoyable. But um, we could also come up with a new thing. I think we well, need a new like 2020 her, thing. Her, uh, if we hit Ashley's? 300 likes. Yeah, yeah absolutely. That's cool. yeah. I mean, not that we have to do something like that every week, but y'all entertain yourselves in the chat. That's cool. And then Eric W. saying cheers. Hashtag BDC. With the acronyms, not, I'm not so much. <laughs> mm. So this is actually pretty mellow. I was expecting mm. more... Rich, based on the nose, like I mean, the flavors are there and they're really good. I was just for 121 and and that finish, it sounded like it was going to be really deep and dark and rich. But it's really actually more on the lighter side, which again, I really, I don't know why I had those expectations. I don't have a, mm. like I said, a lot of experience with I brandy. A little, I don't know, a little little fire a in little, the chest. Yeah, the first sip does that, mm -hmm. but then after that, it, it really backed off. Um, and you know, Chad, I do think though that we need to go back to that, uh, the one that we opened last weekend, cause I would like to pick a favorite out of this lineup. Mm. I think it would be worthwhile to say, Hey, we have these five. We like this one the best. Yeah. Now these are all going to be pretty hard to find because I mean, they are, they're not single barrels they're batch, but they're, you know, like actually small batch. Yeah. Um, Seems like these I'm uh, save mine. these private release barrels, um, which it says, which are blends of whiskey versus a single barrel, um, offer retailers, bourbon clubs, and whiskey aficionados alike something truly unique. So, um, you know, like I, I know from Drew's experience, his shop got like five or six of these bottles, and you know that was it. Oh, really? And he didn't see them anywhere else. So. I don't think there's going to be a whole, whole lot of these around oh. there. But yeah, at least by the end of the night, we could tell you if, you see if your odds are going to be good or not. So far, I think we're I mean, two for two. You know, they're not cheap, um, but you know, they're limited. So yeah. they have a limited price point. But if you come across one, I guess it'd be mm. nice to know if you think it would be something you'd enjoy and you want to spend the money. Yeah. I'm going to get something else in the glass here because we got a couple more super chats. Yeah, Tyler says... I'm just pouring a little extra so we can come back to him. Okay. It says Irish car bombs for 2020. Yes. Uh, whew, beer. Mm. Oh, boy. I'm just uh, going to be a baby and say, I don't want to shoot stuff or chug <laughs> stuff. Please. And then <laughs> Mr. Sharkbite6415 says, if you hit 300 likes, I will drink some Jaeger. See, I love it I when, support <clears throat> when people... Fall on the proverbial bomb for us, the bomb. <laughs> you know. Uh, that's super cool, and um, and and like we did when Trevor took one, we put it on our story. 
the following week, that Sunday. Um, so if you happen to film it and send it, uh, we'll put it out there on our Instagram. Uh, I just think it's odd because, like, if you were someone new who came to our Instagram, you would be like, why is this bourbon channel just promoting Jaeger bombs? It seems <laughs> weird to me. Well, the way um, that, I don't know if you saw it, but the way that I said it last, you know, it was sort of like on last week's live. Mm -hmm. um, we hit 300 likes and Trevor Wilson took a uh, Jaeger bomb for us. What will happen this week? Tune in tonight at, not, you know, 8. I forget mm -hmm. when we go live. What time is it, Chad? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Uh, but thank you, you all for thank those you for super, the super chats. chats. Much appreciated. One day we'll find something that's better suited. Yeah. So this is what we're on to here? Yes. Apologies. I did not read it out loud because okay. you were... Oh, but you still should because nope. I can't pronounce nope. this. No, Go for it. Okay. <laughs> I'll embarrass myself. I'm also not familiar with any of these, so if someone else could do the Googling, it would be great. So this is a AHO2 121.42 proof Tokaji, I believe is how you say that. Tokaji, okay. I'm not A -H -O -2. sure. AHO2. Yep. So again, it's the blend of um, Kentucky whiskeys, the largest component being 18 year old. This is not going to provide any more no. well, information. It, it, it gives uh, purchasing information at least. Sure. It gives the purchasing information, but that's not really helpful in telling us what Tokaji finish means. No. Mm -mm. Um, so we'll just... Yeah. Get on back. Get on back. I got it. I got it. <laughs> okay. There we are. Backseat driver over here. Yeah. Okay, that's... And you said it was 120, another 121, yeah. Point, uh, 121.42. See, whoo, that's got more of a, um, whatever that is, the influence of that. Um, Tokaji. Or I'm probably just saying it wrong a bunch of times in a row, and it's embarrassing. <laughs> That's fine. Um, Hungarian wine question mark? Uh, Is it? Don't have a whole lot of experience in Hungarian I wine also either. I don't, no. Oh, it has like mm. a apricot flavor at the finish. I don't know about that. It's a sweet white wine from Slovakia. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Joseph. Yeah, I was thinking that this link that I pulled up would have all this information, and then come to find, nah, it just repeats what's on the label. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> so thank you all for, for doing our job. This has a little bit of bitterness on the finish, and it's got this weird orange zest fruit apricot flavor, and I'm thinking that's hmm. like, and some like of that white wine sweetness. Yeah. Yeah, Maybe. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not feeling that. I like the front of it. I'm getting I really enjoy the first part of the palate, but... A lot more spice on this one. It is a little spicier. Mm. I mean, it's got good warmth. Mm -hmm. I like that about it, but that yeah. flavor that hangs around at the end is... I mean, I would rank it below the one that we just had. It's got more oomph. I would agree. In the flavor realm, it's just not, like... It's not Sarah flavors. Not Sarah. It's not Sarah certified. It's not Sarah approved flavors. No, uh, there. It's um, good if you really like orangey and that like sweeter, crisper wine. Yeah. And like those spices, like sure. that might be. I um. I think it's. This is gonna sound weird, but I think it's pricklier than the others. Yeah, I think that's what I mean by like crisp. It's yeah, like yeah, it's a little bit a little. a little bit harder on the on the palate. Still good. And one thing that I haven't really picked out yet and, it's, and it might just be because of the finishing agent and all these but haven't really picked out the 18 year old whiskey portion of it i'm not getting I'm, the leather i'm not getting sort of the i think on tobacco the, yeah notes. on the first one it was very smooth yeah i saw that i was waiting for you to to finish <laughs> um it was i think you got the smoothness like they're both pretty smooth um, which I think is maybe coming from that maturity, mm -hmm. but agreed with you when you think of what does 18 year old bourbon taste like, or it's Kentucky whiskey. whiskey. Yeah. Um, what is that? And I'm not, I wouldn't have guessed 18 year old primarily in the blend. I would have guessed maybe <clears throat> 10, but we've honestly, only had these two. With, with the finishing, uh, techniques, it's, it's honestly, uh, at least for us, kind of hard to gauge it's really more, hard it more kind of a year than when it's just you know scrambles things all yeah. up yep uh, Glenn and Kathy Glenn and Kathy golf whiskey they said we had oh come here we had a good day no Jaeger bomb required 
Thank you. I'm glad for both of those things. I'm so glad you had a good day. Yeah. I don't know what happened to make it a good day for you, but I'm, I'm so happy. they found that long lost bottle or Maybe. that one they've been, I don't know. But regardless, very happy for you guys. Thank and you. Thank you for that, Glenn and Kathy. Thank you. Uh, Shadowhawk says, literally everyone watching close, uh, close chat and like vid. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Ashley Thank says, you. Anyone who does a super chat tonight will be entered for the samples if we hit 300 likes. Whoa. Bam, Ashley. She's Ooh, like. She's doing some administrative work over the there. Show the showcase. Yeah. It's like, or <laughs> curtain number three. And what can they win? <laughs> <laughs> well, Sarah. Um, I don't know where you're going with that. I wasn't. That's all I had. Uh, Mr. Shark Bite says super chat train. Love the super chat trains. Don says asking. Oh. Asking for your well wishes as we wait for Hurricane Douglas to oh, hit here. Wow. Or hopefully not. Yes. Uh, at least I have lots of whiskey if our water supply is disrupted. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, whiskey has water in it, so that's that's Tri all you need, right? Yeah. Delicate and, triangle. And for the other super chats. Uh, uh, and then Dan just said, nice golf whiskey. Very nice. And Michelle. Michelle. We just made all the noises. Um, we found out today that our total wine has the Wild Turkey 101 Rye. We're picking it up tomorrow and are looking forward to trying it. Cheers. Yeah. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you so much. Um, um, and then Tony G piling on said, word to Ash. Get it in in that, uh, in that uh, sample. Uh, sample pool. Sample showdown, showcase showdown if, if we hit 300, which I imagine that we will, right? Hopefully. At 122. Likes. Thumbs ups. That nice. is. That's about half, and we're only a couple minutes in. Yeah. Well, 15, but that's fine. So I'm going to put this aside. I want to, like I said, go back at the end and see yeah. which one's my favorite. As of now, this, it's not, uh, it's not, that it's not shaping up to be it. So I'm just going to keep them in order here, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to so we got two put more. them in order here. Right here. Keep them off screen. Next up, Sarah. What do we have, Chad? We have, uh, this is AH05, it's a 122.3, our highest so far, and it's a Sicilian Am Am Amaro finish. Okie dokie. That sounds good. That's probably another, I don't know what, but that's what it is. 122. Mm. Thank you. Yeah. Tyler, thanks for the super chat. Says, when y'all given Ashley that legend status? <laughs> I mean. She's working towards it, yeah, isn't she? Yeah, anyone can just claim it, I guess. I don't know. With their actions, which she's doing. Um, so, yeah. I don't know that it really comes with. There's not like a package <laughs> that you <laughs> get <laughs> when you. I mean, there is yet to be a. a uh, it's not like a predetermined. Um, there's not a prerequisite. Uh, right. It, it goes in front of a council of elders. Well, and, I think this um, is the council. And then it's voted upon. The, the uh, council is the chat. It goes up the mountain. Right, sure. JG Wentworth saying 1877 sample, sample now. now. I I'm like getting that. in and uh, in on that. And Brian says watching and drinking some Eagle Rare. Well, cheers on that. Cheers to both you guys. Thank you. For them chats. And John who says, what are your general thoughts on 1792 small batch and 1792 full proof? My general thoughts are 1792 full proof, yay. 1792 small batch, meh, pass. Yeah. I'm going to give it a pass because I just think that there are other things out there for that price point. And there's other things from 1792 that I like better. So I would just say, yeah. get the full proof. And if you're looking for something less expensive around the small batch price range, like we have plenty of suggestions there like i'd rather yes, have I, I elijah agree. craig small I batch agree. than 1792 small batch agreed so uh, there you wild go. turkey 101 then yep 1792 small batch um getting more like bake baking bread or rye bread in this and um we also have mr Ooh. shark bite 6415 saying i am drinking beer now oh goodness i guess you ran out of whiskey now that's fine <laughs> <laughs> but Beer is welcomed. And uh, Ron's Wood Turning Shop and stuff says, love the barrel bourbon. There you go, yeah. I like that stuff. they've got so many different things. Like, mm -hmm. I think you could find something from them. It's interesting. It's different. They're kind of playing around. Yeah. I like it. This one I'm having a harder time with the nose, but I kind of get what you're saying with the rye. Mm -hmm. But almost like bready. Yeah. 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 Uh, Dough. Tony says, my proof meter is off tonight. Wife blinded me with three barrel proofs and guessed all under 100. Well, practice makes mm. perfect. Yeah. 
And you know, some depending, some like really excellent uh, barrel proofs can read a lot lower, and then some crappier, uh, got lower that... proof ones can read a lot higher. I mean, sure. it's just you know that's kind of a mark of excellence. Well, sometimes so. like an unrefined, you know, lower yeah. proof or mm -hmm. like lower price can read higher or, because or of that those sharp edges. Younger also can read can read higher can read because higher. they're so um, they can be like abrasive. I yeah. guess. Yeah. Um, Let's see, did we miss anything else? Um, and John says for uh, bourbon or cheers, I can't tell, but bourbon emoji for Don, <laughs> an absolute gentleman. Agreed. Hope you and yours are safe. Totally agree. Yes. Thank you for that, Super Chad. Bing. Cowbell to that. Cowbell. Now, this one drinks. Have you had a drink yet? I have. I've, okay. I've had one it, while you were chatting. It drinks a lot um, kind of quieter, you know? It's This one isn't as loud as the others. It's. Softer, it doesn't definitely doesn't taste 122. I think three. the age is coming through more in this one. Mm. Yeah, this one's maybe a little bit less remarkable as far as the uniqueness of the finish. But True, but I like the flavor. It's tasting more just like a solid whiskey or yeah. a solid, it has bourbon flavors. Yeah, but I think they're you know, in the Amaro, it, they're in really good harmony. Yeah. Um, mm. The proof feels pretty right. If I like this one, it's nice and warm. Um, yeah, this one is now my new front runner. <clears throat> okay. If I must say, it's. I mean, I would. Yeah, probably put it up against our first one of the evening. Yeah. See, I think that this one was like too soft. This one was too loud with flavors I didn't like, and this one's almost Goldilocks. in that Goldilocks just oh, okay. right space. Okay. Uh, I hear you. Um, I hear you. I like. We should also say um, from this that the price of a 750 size bottle of these uh, MSRP is 109 bucks. 109, and I'm assuming that that comes from well, one the limited because they're doing all these experiments, and two the finishing barrels. Um, yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, so this one is AH05 for anyone who was following along with the numbers. But yeah, that's the Sicilian Amaro finish. Yeah. Ashley is saying uh, samples will include Wild Turkey 17-year mm. Bottled and Bond. That's the new Master's Keep, everybody. And a store pick of my collection. Uh, not sure which one yet. Also, Matt is back in the chat. Well, hello, nice. Matt. Welcome hello. back. Yeah, and thank you for that, Ashley. I'll give you a little sitting on the table cowbell cheers. Because mm -hmm. we got to mix it up. Hmm. Yeah, this is, this is pretty solid. Yeah, I like it. But in my head, I'm just remembering the one that we mm. opened up last weekend from Drew. Right. And I'm thinking like, uh, is that going to be first? Is it just automatically going to be first? <laughs> I just remember it tasting so good. Right. Yeah. No, that, that's definitely a it good one. It was delicious. So here's our last one that we have in the little sample bottles. Um, this is AH10, 120.52. So this is our lowest proof out of these. And this is a ruby port finish, oh, which could oh, be oh, interesting. Oh. We've got mixed feelings about port finish Ah, uh, our moderator here tonight, Trev, Trev. Uh, saying that he's keeping track of all the super chats and he will randomize the names and let uh, let us pick Whoa. two random numbers. Okay, for I like random the winners. numbers. So yeah, so then that way, yeah, very good. Thank you, Trev. Thanks, Captain Trev. Trev Wilson. All right, um, teamwork. Yeah, so this one, the lowest you said, one one twenty. One twenty point five two. Okay, 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 okay. But see, the thing is, is that I've had a white port, not finished, just white port, and we had a port a few weeks ago that wasn't like a deep red port. I forget what it was called. I have a picture of the bottle, but it was more of like a, oh, it almost had more like a rosé color. That dessert. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was like a dessert port, um, and it had like a rosé color, and I liked the white port, and I liked that one with dessert, mm -hmm. but I just don't like port finished bourbon, and I don't like like red, red port dessert red, wine. Red port. I don't like it. <laughs> Anybody? That's all? Now this smells nice. I'm having trouble um, giving nosy notes it's, tonight. Well, it's such, we're, we're dealing with, with um, well, so far, four, you know, finished in, I think, barrels that we have not had. Not a lot of experience with. Yeah. Um, so it, it's kind of throwing a little bit of a monkey wrench in there. Pretty, pretty strong. Smells like the proof, anyway. Yeah. I'll say that. A little cherry. 
Ruby port. Now we've had port finish. I don't know if we've had Ruby specifically, Not but Ruby port. we've had port finished. Don't know much about Ruby port. Don't know much about no Ruby port. Uh, in the law, in the lawn, in the, in the lawn, lawn with Zach. Zach. Says watch. Been watching for a while. Love the channel. Thank well, you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the super chat. And we're halfway to 300 likes, so that's cool. And Patrick Fulmer says it sounds complicated. <laughs> it probably is. Hmm. Oh, that's different. That's the most like outlier of. It is. The four. Oh, it's a little dry. I'm gonna go back for a second sip because I'm not sure. That's very sort of. I don't want to say one note in like a bad way, but it is kind of like, I am this one particular thing. That particular thing is pretty good. But I am but this I'm one But I'm definitely thing. on this one yeah. thing. Yeah. Uh, Pudding more, which I love that name. It's funny. Uh, it says after you review or after you review of barrel proofs, I've gone back to Stag Junior with ice. It stands up well without uh, ruining it, but but tuning. Turning down its aggression. Sorry. It's okay. Eyeballs could not focus on that. Uh, yeah, I, I've come to, the first time I had Stag Jr. was like, whoa, this is too much for me. I'm yeah. not ready for this ride. Um, and now it's, you know, I definitely did it with ice early on, but now I'm like, yeah. So I'm glad that you can enjoy it. It definitely stands up to the, to the water or ice. Man, you really had to back off when nosing this um, one. Fred says Ruby Port is the younger stuff. And if you guys have not gone uh, and checked out Fred's Fred channel, Minnick. you definitely need to do that. What up, Fred? Uh, yeah. Tawny is where it's at, or Vintage. Okay, so we've had a Tawny port. Yep, um, Angel's Envy. That's the Angel's Envy. Seller collection. I remember feeling medium-ish about that. I liked it. I mean, I liked it, but I yeah. d don't know that I liked it pr for the price. Mm -hmm. Like, there was nothing wrong with it. Sure, sure, sure. Well, you know, yeah. It's just it's, hard. Yeah. I just feel like if you've got $300 to spend... At the liquor store, there are so many bottles, even single bottles at this point, vying for that three hundred dollars. Like if yeah. you, if you're going to be priced at that, I want it to blow my socks off. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll just get, I'll just get five lower your price socks bottles. Weren't and blown. My socks were not blown. Uh, Z Man saying one oh eight in the shade in Arizona. Love wow. watching you two. Uh, Knob Creek twelve over here. Cheers. Well, I hope that that cools you down. At least it's a hundred proof, right? Thank you for that. I'll just let that be. Yeah, there you go. I'll just let that be it. Just let it ride. Yeah, it is very one note. It is more enjoyable than the ports that I'm most familiar with. I like it. It's a little sweet. It finishes shorter than most of these, I think. So, yeah. it's not going in first place for me. Yeah, I agree. It's, um... It's just okay. I yeah. mean, it's good quality... I think this is another one where, like, the port is kind of diminishing that nice, you know, depth and maturity of the actual mm -hmm. whiskey. So, there's that. And honestly, I'm just kind of trying to get back to that other bottle. I'm like, okay, let's just get <laughs> let's weave. Way, weave, weave. Weave um, back. No, I did like the, the Amaro. Yeah. Uh, okay, Josh says, have you tried their Infinite Barrel Project? Thoughts? I think so. I think we've at had a, a, at, a, at an event. An event. We but we don't have a, a bottle of it. No, but, and so uh, we haven't also sat down with it individually. Yeah. It's been mostly like going by booths and being like, oh yeah, that's nice. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Which is never really a fair way to judge something. Right. And Drew says, Sarah, you and me, we need LASIK soon or less bourbon. Nah, let's do LASIK. <laughs> yeah, my eye doctor wants me to do LASIK. I'm like, no, I'm not trying to be awake while someone cuts me my too. And that deserves a triangle, but that we'll does. also say taste and sensibility. Another channel here, if you love honey, cheese, things like that, uh, check it out. Um, making a little more work for Trev. He, I'm sure he doesn't mind. He'll have he, to put he on his. He might have volunteered if he minded. His, his cap. His, his cap. 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 For uh, that. And Ben says, uh, pick up some McKenna tenure this week. Cheers, everyone. Congratulations. For Drew? For everybody. For everybody. That was a gentle it was a, it was a triangle. Gentle triangle. But I don't want to... But it rang true. Hurt anyone's ears. Oh, but we're out of glasses is the problem. We are. I think we can fix that. Well, okay. If you think so. Yeah. Um, so I, instead of opening up the little sealed bottle, since we've already got this one open, again, from Drew, this is the AH08 blend. 
Um, and this is the Momsy Madeira Barrel, which I did like a lot. And I'm looking forward to having this again. Uh, so yeah, Chad's just gonna make me wait while he gets them glasses. Ooh, that was nice. Uh, thank you. Mm -hmm. this in here and I'll tell you the proof this one is 118.98 so this is actually the lowest of the bunch oh whoops thanks there you go my bad all of our official bourbon and Glen Cairns are the rest of them are dirty they are not dry yet so so we will use we are plugging Urban, Urban women. women. And this one's a Jefferson's and Jefferson's. Class. There you go. That Glen Karen life, though, when they're the others. Oh, I think it just beeped. But they would be very hot right now. They would be very hot. Too hot. <laughs> um, let's see. First Phil Whiskey says, uh, what's the favorite so far? Missed the first part. So out of this lineup, we've got five that we're going through. Um, my favorite so far of these private selections is the um, Sicilian Amaro finish. And then probably followed by this Calvados. We have not gotten to this one, which is the Momsy Madeira. So that's my ranking. I'm thinking, I, I don't really know, but I'm thinking it's between the one that you said is your second and the one that you said is your first. For your first. Yeah. You're kind of in between. Yep. So we're tasting them all, and then at the end we'll go back and like retaste and rank. Kind of like a fly fight. Yeah. Um, except for it's not blind. No. Oh, I love this, this nose. Strong, I love this nose. Strong nose. Mm. Ooh, yeah. Lots, a lot more, a lot more spice in this, I and, did, yeah. and those fruits, those mm. like just fresh fruits, tropical like. See, I get more like cinnamon baking apples on this one, and brown sugar, mm. and just like delicious fall desserts. Which, <laughs> if you know me, anything that reminds me of fall is good in my book. So. JP says, hi, Chad and Sarah, new to the channel and new to bourbon. Picked up Pikesville on your recommendation. Yay. Fantastic rye. Cheers. Thank you, JP, and welcome to the channel. We do love some Pikesville. Yes. And to anyone else who's new to the channel. Welcome. Welcome. If you haven't subscribed, we would love to have you, you know, We'd appreciate in, it. in the fold. In the fold. Come on over. I don't know. I feel like you're recruiting. It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> Can I talk to, do you have five minutes to talk about bourbon? <laughs> Don't let, it's a pyramid scheme. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> if you just get five of your friends to subscribe and then right. they get five of their friends to subscribe, well, you won't. If you spend $150 a month, but... you get a 20% discount for being oh, a consultant. What? <laughs> and then if you, but if you get this many more people to join, you get even more money off. Exactly. So but you have to keep spending $150 a month. Yeah. And just Cletus, kidding. None of that's true. None of that, no, yeah, none of that's true. Cletus says, you can get more glasses chat at whiskeyambitions.com. That is so true, Cletus. Wow, Cletus. Whiskeyambitions.com, our home on the internet for things, not particularly this Glen Karen, but like these Glen Karens. Oh, uh, Glen Karen or two. Oh, uh, Glen Karen or two. Uh, Some rock water glasses. glasses, rocks glasses, challenge coins. T shirts, which neither of us are which wearing. None of us, we're not doing it right tonight. No. And uh, more. Coming soon. Yeah. At Whiskey Ambitions. And you can check out our... I didn't uh, have that memorized at all. Patreon page. It's patreon.com slash it's bourbon night. And hang you out with are. us for as little as one buck a month. I mean, you can hang out with us here too, but, you know, we do some fun things on there. Oh. We're working on some new designs right now, so we throw them up when we're like, need some, some feedback. In the hopper. In the hopper. Yeah, so we throw them out there. We got you... the smart pack too. Oh, God. <laughs> now, this is, uh, this is pretty exceptional. Mm. Um, 118.98, yeah. And I'm not just saying that because Drew Boland's in the chat. I am. I think this one, I don't know, I'll have to try these two side by side. Ooh. But this one is, it's not even <sighs> like... How does this one punch the highest? It's the lowest proof. I think that Madeira is so, like, I hate to use this word, it's weird to me, but it's very, like, say. luscious. Oh, Okay. What do you think of? Oh, decadent. Decadent. No, I'm not gonna ever use that word. Okay. Todd Cooper. Todd Cooper. Unnecessary super chat from you, sir. But thank you. You do not. Oh, Cheers. that's twenty bucks. Cheers to butterscotch pie, Drew juice. Mm, please never say it again. And full agent shit. Uh, yes, Todd Cooper. All except maybe the Drew juice. Yes. 
Yes. <laughs> you gotta try. I know. Um, and Jeffrey says, if you were to pick up, I'm so sorry. If you, do you want me to? No, I'm, if I'm you were to pick up a bottle a of good... barrel uh, to buy that's currently released, what would that bottle be? Well, that's kind of what we're trying to get to here, but I really like their cast drink stuff. Yeah, and that's also kind of hard because I don't know if we have anything that's super current. You know, we did the Batch 21, which won the San Francisco World Spirits competition, mm -hmm. and then I think also 22 was like double gold or, or something. But those um, were the cast drinks, right? Well, yeah, I think yeah. most of them. I think most of them. Well, but they've got the dovetail and yeah, like the dovetail, infinite barrel, and new, new year, year and um, obviously a rye, so on and so forth. Actually, I think I. You've got some literature. I had that, on that information. Let's uh, see. Twenty one received double gold. It was renamed best bourbon and best small batch bourbon, both overall and within the six to ten year category. Additionally, batch twenty and the barrel rye batch three were awarded double gold medals, while barrel bourbon batch twenty two earned a gold medal. End of sentence. <laughs> Sorry. Period. Period. And well, at least you can read. The news. Uh, Andrew Buchanan says, oh, well, I hope that answered your question. Uh, if you can find one of these private Get barrels, it. as Get of it. right now, we're saying the Calvados, the uh, Sicilian Amaro, and the Momsy Madeira. But I think they're all, all. But they're all. Worth well, the, the only money. one I. Mm, I'm not a fan not of this Takashi. Yeah, I do, but I personally don't like anything that reads to like orange zest apricot. It right. reminds me of that's medicine. A, that's a killer. It triggers like medicinal nah, medicinal flavors in my brain. Right, of, right, like, having, right, right. Yeah, I don't want mm. it. Oh my gosh, get out of my face! <laughs> There's nothing there, you guys. It wasn't She's that. Lost it, it just tried to fly out my nose. Okay, okay. like the bird of paradise. What? May the bird of paradise fly up your nose. They get it. I don't know what that means. Okay. But Andrew says, uh, yes, or I'm finally getting to try your bur bourbon butterscotch pie tonight. We Ooh. made it yesterday and let it chill overnight. It's the best way to have it. I hope you enjoy it. And she made one uh, a few I days made, ago. I made one a few days ago, and it was excellent, mm -mm. if I may say so. Yeah. I don't usually brag on myself, but with a pour of, you know, if I could suggest Booker's Front Porch Batch, if you have it. If not, <laughs> any, you know. Bourbon could do, but... But it does matter. It, do, it does matter. Yeah, and Robot Scott saying cheers to Whiskey Sunday. Well, cheers. Thank you. Thank you, Robot Scott. Mm. Yeah. Trav, getting a friendly reminder, if those who are just joining us, we're at 372 watching right now, it says, friendly reminder, all the Super Chats are getting you entered into tonight's sample giveaway, which will happen when we hit 300 likes. Get those Super Chats in and hit that like button. And thank you again to Ashley Campbell yeah, thanks, for Ashley. Uh, initiating tonight's- She's like our little, our sponsor. Uh, uh, surprise, uh, yeah, giveaway, that's awesome. All right, now I'm lining these up in order. And then Justin says, enjoy the bourbon hunting podcast. He's referring to the Drink More Bourbon podcast, which is available oh, yeah. uh, as low as $1 a month on our Patreon site, uh, everyone. Um, and, and that level and above gets the Drink More Bourbon podcast and said, enjoy the bourbon hunting podcast. I've enjoyed uh, exploring new shelf regulars in 2020. If I find uh, allocated, it's a bonus. Gotcha. That's true. Now I'm having trouble reading. I mean, yeah. But thank you We're for just Chat and for being a patron. I'm just happy I don't need readers yet. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with readers. I went to the doctor fully expecting for mm -hmm. them to tell me that I needed mm -hmm. readers. Mm -hmm. And she said it's just because of the computer screen. <laughs> Jeremiah um, wants you to make him a pie. So. Uh, okay, I could. <laughs> okay. Here's the thing. I could open my own pie business and start shipping it across the country. But then we're going to have to change the quality of the pie in order to withstand the shipping and oh, the temperatures. Oh, no, yeah. And then Preservatives. We're gonna, and because of the scale, we're going to lose quality. And so it's not oh. going to be as good. And so you sh should just find someone in. I think it's a you have to come to Kentucky. Or there's the right. There's a recipe, mate. It's not that hard. The meringue is hard. You could do it without the meringue if you just wanted a butterscotch Well, I'll say pie. this. The one that you made a few days ago was better than the one that the you one made, that made for the, for the episode. Video? Both mm -hmm. in looks and a little bit in taste. It was bomb. Well, I find that the more you make something, the better yeah. you get at it. It's exactly. like I can Just look at our shows. <laughs> well, I, right? Our shows are our number one example. But I can yeah. look at stuff sometimes and know like when it's done. True. Versus the first time I make it, I'm like, is it ready? I don't know. Yep. Uh, Corey's saying, whoop, free whiskey. Nice. And whoop, there it is. Uh, uh, Chloe's Chloe. saying, hello. As Mrs. Dalvin. Hello, dear. Says, I, uh, I, think, <laughs> I think you all have heard of my husband. 
Sheridan Richmond. Yes. We just celebrated our one year anniversary and you all are... It's you, called, it's y'all. And y'all are our go-to. Where are you from? <laughs> Every what's, Sunday. What's, what's this y'all? Love what y'all two do. Thank you. I'm not familiar with this y'all. What is this y'all? Y'all. Is it a you all contraction? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, is it the Queen's English? <laughs> Thank you for those super chats, everybody. Okay. All right. Mm. Meh. Dang. Can dang. we do the thing where... Woo. Maybe I'm just getting ahead of myself. What thing? What you, what you want to do? Well, I want to do... Right, right. All of these again. But I kind of want to go in my own order because we like different things. Speaking of recipes, though, I have been jotting down some... Uh, I have a, a Google Doc full of recipe ideas. But it's like I think of the thing that I want to make at the end of the day... And I don't have any of the thing, like I don't have the recipe to get there, so I'm just kind of working backwards of like, how would I make this thing taste excellent? Um, and I've probably got like 50 things on that list right now. So unfortunately, Chad will have to be my guinea pig. Oh darn. I've had one thing go terribly wrong so far. I still would. I tried to, it. I tried my first peach upside down cake. Was not good. But it was, I see, I know where I went wrong. I know where I went wrong. You still ate it. I did. <laughs> I still ate it. Too. I did. I did. So we're working on some more recipes. Who knows what that will become one day? Yeah. I hear that you can sometimes make books out of those things, and like people will buy them. That doesn't sound very tasty. Or you could put it on Pinterest. Um. Okay. So I want to do between one and three and five. That's kind of where I'm at too. But I I'm just really gonna give them all one more taste. I mean, I'll go back and I'll taste. So I'm gonna. Go back to the Tokina finish. Takashi. Takashi. The Tonka finish. It's a Tonka finish. They run it through a Tonka truck. Is that how it works? Yeah. Oh, mm. Drew says, I went wrong by trying to make a peach upside down cake. It should have been pineapple. But I don't know how well pineapple goes with bourbon. Like, I like peach and bourbon. Yeah. It yeah, could also yeah. be a peach cobbler or it could be a peach like some, pie. Some peachy bourbons. I gotta make a bourbon apple pie for this fall because duh. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could have done it for Fourth of July. That nothing, you know, that would have been appropriate. Missed that window. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. I'll work on it. I gotta say that that. Adam that, Terry totally called you out. I was just gonna let it go. Call me out. Yeah, the way you said this, there's a, uh, a musician. Takashi six nine. Yeah. Sixty nine. That's how you said this. Yeah, I'm gonna get tattoos on my face. Please. Uh, the the Tonka finish is. Yeah, not, not my. I mean, it's good, and I appreciate it. The would, front would, part would is I the, buy a bottle? No, probably not. The if we could divide this experience of tasting this Takashi finish up, I would say the first sixty percent of it, I really like it. Like when I first tasted it, uh -huh. the first few seconds, I was like, oh yeah, I like this a lot. But it's what happens at the end. It kind of just goes really dry, a little bitter, and that orange zest, and that's just what remains afterwards. Yeah. For me, mm -mm, I and can't. It, mi it might be one of those things where it doesn't stand up well next to other things. If you just had this as your first crack of the evening, sure. and you're stuck with it, you might be, hey, this is great. You know, we've experienced that in flight fights with whiskeys that we normally enjoy on their own just fine. So, uh, okay, I'm back to the Ruby Port finish, the Ruby Rose Port finish. She's Batwoman. You're back to that one. I'm not there yet. Well, I'm doing the two that I wasn't the craziest about. Mm -mm. Gotta say, I like the Ruby Port finish better. Though it is kind of dry, and that's a little bit of a killer for me. I know some people like dry whiskeys. I'm not so much. Um, what was that? Uh, a couple of super chats. Uh, Monroe. Monroe. Uh, stop talking about sweets on a diet, trying to look like Trev when I moved to Las Vegas. Good I'm, luck. Aren't we all just trying to look like Trev? I'm like... But we all can't buy captain's hats. Uh, so, If I could just um, eat a chicken breast and, ve and grilled vegetables <laughs> for every meal every day, I'm um, going to try, Trev. I'm going to do my best. I need you to coach me. And then David said, try Pikesville Rye in your recommendation. First rye we have enjoyed this far. Well, hey, Yay. you might just like, you know, barely legal barely rye. Legal. Tastes like a high rye bourbon. Uh, Caitlin says, y'all are awesome. Love watching your show. Thank Thanks, you, Caitlin. Caitlin. And then Adam says, love bourbon and love the show. I know it's not bourbon, but have you tried Jack Daniels Barrel Proof? And if so, what's your opinion? It amazed me. We did get it in uh, 
in an advent calendar. Oh. Um, but we haven't tried it since then. Or it might have been single barrel. I can't remember. It uh, was, it was the single barrel. It was not the, the barrel two. proof. And it was, it was sure. okay, but we knew something was awry. <laughs> something wasn't... Amiss. Something wasn't... Uh, yeah. It was good. But not, not our fave. I'll I say. feel like I can always pick out a Tennessee whiskey, though. Or is it just you can always pick out a Brown Foreman product? Well, I can always, I can mostly pick out a Brown Foreman product, and I can almost always pick out a Dickel product, and that takes up most of the Tennessee then, whiskey. And that comprises, Obviously, it's not all of it. Yeah. I know that there are a lot of, you know, distilleries, but yeah, of the big things that we get to try, yeah. it's, I, I feel like I can be like, this is Jack Daniels. Yeah. And it's I can definitely be like, this is something from Dickel. It's sourced, it's from Dickel. <laughs> true, true. And then uh, Scott's saying, you know what goes well with bourbon? More bourbon. More bourbon. <laughs> Thank you all for those. Okay, so I've tried the two that, you know, kind of ranked lower. I think I put the Tonka truck last. I, 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 I put the Ruby no ahead of that. Uh, it's the... the, the to, the Toshina. Uh-huh. It's okay. The to, Takashi. To, to, um, to, uh, what, what's that TV brand? Tabashi. No, it's not Tabashi. It's Toshiba. What's it? Toshiba. Toshiba. What's Tabashi? Although one guy came in, I used to sell TVs, and, and he asked for uh, Toshiba. <gasps> Toshiba. A Toshiba. Well, and some another people person, say Adidas. Yeah. They're called British people. Uh, and then um, someone came in and asked for a Mr. Beachy, which is Mr. Beachy. <laughs> so I said, yes, I am Mr. Beachy. How may I help you? Okay. Um, okay. I think I'm ready to say that. What are you ready to say? Ooh. The Mom's Zee Madeira is my favorite. No question. Wow. I, I'm Now I'm trying my three favorites. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I know my favorite and I know my least favorite. See, I normally, I feel like, go this route where I'm like, I know this and I know this. And now I'll just <coughs> fill in the blanks. And I feel like you kind of go by last to first. Yeah. Um, which is fine. We all have our process. That's yeah. kind of why we split up and do our own thing during flight fights. is because we just have our own process. Right. Have you tried the Peyton Manning bourbon? Are you kidding? We have a uh, uncorking. What? Go watch that it. uncorking yeah. when this is over. If you're, if you're curious. If you are so inclined, Jeremy. But yes, we. We have. did try it. Yeah. Hmm. So I just tried the uh, one that tastes more, most like a bourbon. Okay, like but a, I don't know which one that is because you've, what, what number? Uh. The uh, Amaro. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now that's, this is this one. Okay. The Caldavos. Mm -hmm. Cald. Yeah. Caldav. Calvados. The okay. Caldrago. The Caldrago bourbon. Yes. I wish that... Oh, man. If they put out a product under that, I think uh, a lot of people would buy it. I would buy it. That's Game of Thrones, right? Yeah. They did. It, it was scotch. They did a Game of Thrones scotch. They yeah. didn't do a him specifically. Oh, they didn't do a Caldrago. No. They know. didn't. No. <laughs> oh, come on. They put out an Aquaman bourbon. I would... <laughs> like, yeah. I um, wouldn't buy that. What's his name? Jason Momoa. Come on. I feel like he would be a gin or something. He was drinking bourbon in uh, Justice League. In fact, he threw and broke the bottle into the ocean. Which I didn't is, see this movie. He's like, uh, people are polluting our oceans. Drains a uh, Jim Beam bottle and then smashes it on the rocks, which then it goes into the ocean. I'm like, what, you, you, what were you just saying five minutes ago? But, but. Cal Drago? But. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Woo. Oh, Drew Woo. says, yay, because his Woo, Drew. And I promise, Drew, it's not just because of you. Dang. I, even blind, I would pick. This one just packs the most flavor. I, but I also really like mm. Madeira finish stuff. Okay, so here's my order. So third place would be the Caldrago. Uh, second place. Calvados. Would be. The Amaro. The, um. Why are you trying to think of a cute name for it? <laughs> I'm trying to think of the, the name. Sicilian Amaro. The, the name of um, the grandma from Golden Girls. She was Sicilian. I think I just called her Ma. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, Chad. Come on, Chad. Thank you for being a friend. Rose, Blanche. Uh, 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 no! Dorothy. Dorothy. And it wasn't Cecilia? No, she was Sicilian. And, and Dorothy called her Ma. I'm not looking at the chat because I don't want to know. Her name was... Oh, no. 
Oh no! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! I can do this. I can do this. No, you can't do it. Um. It was Blanche, Devereaux. Oh, I was close. Dorothy. I. S B S Sophia. 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 Yeah. The Sophia. Thank you. The Sicilian. Yeah, I know everyone had it. You're yeah. gonna call it Sophia. The Sophia is my second place. But and that's not helpful for them. Because that's not what it's called. And, and then the Wu Drew, about. the Wu Drew juice, which I that's don't agree disgusting. with. That's Don't call it that. It's <laughs> number one. It's. I agree. It's number one. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I go Walmsy Madeira, Amaro, Calvados, then the Ruby Port, then the Tokaji. Well, we have the same first, fourth, and fifth. But and you. I, I. You like this one. I stopped paying attention after that. Okay. Well, um, that makes sense. We have the same first, and that's what's important. Yeah. Okay. And the same last. Right. Which happens a lot. And then sometimes the middle gets mixed around. It gets all wishy-washy. Yeah. Uh, we're still only at 222 thumbs up. Uh, that, um, you know, uh, contest isn't going to kick in unless we get 300 of these. Not our rules. Not our rules. That, I didn't make that rule. <laughs> uh, ja, or who is it? Jake said, is it possible to be allergic to only larceny? I... You know, my friend Kevin uh, said that um, he got a bottle of larceny that he thought was an off bottle. You know, he had it before. And then this one, he, and he gave it a week. He came back to it and was like, yeah, no, it's just an off bottle. Like, tastes funny? Because mm -hmm. I think this person is saying that they're having, like, a reaction. I know. It just reminded me of that. Oh. Um <laughs> I mean, it's a weeded bourbon. Is that the only weeded bourbon that you have? I don't know if that counts, though, because, I mean... Wheat content instead of rye? Maybe you're allergic to that's wheat. That's the only thing I can think of. So if you don't drink a lot of Makers or Weller, and that's the one that's giving you problems, then maybe. Wheat, not peat. I don't know. Richard said he's uh, allergic to peat. Glenn and Kathy Golf Whiskey say Woo Drew. Woo Drew number, number one. one. Sorry, I'm twirling my hair like a child. Um... Just what I do. It's okay. She found a bourbon. She has a crush on. I do. <laughs> what do you? What are you doing I later? Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's up? Um. If we had three hundred thumbs ups, I will sing the Golden Girls theme song. Okay. No, but no one requested that. He just wants to sing the Golden Girls. I theme requested song. that. You requested that. Is it because you heard Donald Faison singing all Donald those? Donald Faison themes? can. He was singing can, all those theme songs, and you want to think sing a theme song too? Can, well, out of the just. He's. Yeah, he's got some pipes. They said, um, they said, sing the Growing Pains theme song. He said, give me the first couple words. He couldn't think of how it went. And uh, show me that spot. And then he, he had the entire rest of the, of the talk, song. We talk about him every episode. I feel like someone's going to Well, we're going to get him on the show. I, don't, I think that's a promise that you can't keep. It's a promise I'm going to try. Well, he's going to think that we're creepy stalkers because we talk about him every week. Well. I wouldn't come on my show or this show if I was like, oh, these two are weird, obsessed. Um, Scrubs theme song. I, yeah, well, I could, yeah, I could do that. But hmm. I, really I like vote the, for no singing. The Golden Girls theme song in my heart right now. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we got a little bit of time left. Still time enough to hit them 300 likes. Um, and I guess we'll just. I mean, we could have this cast strength or this rye. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do the dovetail tonight. I don't know why. Okay. It's, you know, more of a international whiskeys thing, and I don't know that my palate is up for that. Sure. At this moment. We've tasted so much. Yeah. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Here's a story. Thank you, Scott. Oh, a favorite Scrubs line, Justin. Um... I don't know, man. There's so many good ones. Why is there silverware in the pancake drawer? <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Oh my god, that's so funny. You know what's Tipping. You know what's ironic? <laughs> She's not saying that's so sad. <laughs> She's actually crying. Oh. Um, Jake says leave likes, please. Thank you. Thank and you, Jake. Shadowhawk says you have the time to do the rare read forgiven. Oh, we, but they're not upstairs. We, we gotta let it mingle though. Maybe next week? Next Can live. we do it next week? Next live, okay. we'll, we'll mingle it at the very beginning of the show. Or maybe we'll pre-mingle it. I think we pre-mingle. We'll pre-mingle it. We'll pre-mingle. Pre-mingle. And, we'll, and then we'll do it. Yeah. Uh, Drew says, try at Tom's? Tom? What? Versus? Thorn? Th no. No, that's 
Thumbs. The versus uh, Bell Mead versus Barrel Private Select. Ooh, I like the Bell Mead cast strength. Mm -hmm. Could do that. Yeah. I do. <laughs> David saying, Thank you thank for, being, you a for being a friend. We missed an earlier super chat. Oh, did we? No. Who did I? I miss? mean, no doubt. They've been rolling Five, six, in. 5678. Blue Drew is number one. We've been rolling in tonight. Oh, you're right. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, Tyler, God. so sorry that we missed your super chat. Before we leave tonight, can we do a toast to my fellow uh, respiratory therapists and other healthcare workers working with these COVID patients? Man, we, we definitely can. An important Thank you for super th chat. the reminder. Wow. Tyler, we will do that. Thank you for the reminder, um, Trev, and I think that, and Jay. JG. So let's, yes. you know what? We're going to do a triangle. We are going to do a triangle. We're going to do a triangle for those respiratory therapists and healthcare workers. Cheers to you guys out there on the front lines, taking care of those who need taken care of the most. You guys are the true heroes. Uh, thank you for being a friend. Seriously. Travel down this road and back again. Right. Your heart is true. You're a You're friend. A pal. You're a pal. And a confidant. And a confidant. And it you worked. threw a party and invited everyone that you knew, you would see the biggest gift would be from me. And the card attached would say, thank you for being a respiratory therapist. therapist. Or healthcare worker. Or healthcare worker and a friend. <laughs> okay. It worked out well. I liked what you did there. I liked it. Uh, Abby uh, says, started watching you guys when I turned 21. Oh, I feel so Thank you for lucky. being responsible. Yeah, thank you for all. waiting till you were 21 yeah. or lying to us. Yeah. I'm not sure which, but no, <laughs> I believe you. Uh, just celebrated my 24th um, and my three year, it's bourbon night anniversary. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> you mean first no. day. She's 24 now. Oh, you've been watching now. since she's been 21. Mm, approved. Math Chad. Math Chad. Uh, Thanks for teaching me how to love whiskey. Cheers. Well, thank wow. you. That deserves Three a triangle. Years? That does deserve a triangle. Three years. And what a. We're going to have our five year bourbon night anniversary next, next spring. Next year in April. What? I can't believe it. A. Uh, um, pal palately matured person to at 21. At 20. Jump jumping into appreciating bourbon. At 21, I was still drinking like I mean, I was vodka. drinking bourbon at 21, but I wasn't fully like diving in and appreciating mm, it. I was still drinking like yeah. rosé out of the Behringer or the uh, Franzia rosé out of the uh, box. <laughs> you just take the bag out. <laughs> right. Before we lose it on screen so here, you, Shadowhawk saying, do Rare Breed Forgiven versus Russell's versus the original. I think that's what was said. You note that in your before. brain. Got it. And then Cole saying... No, Chloe. There it is. Sorry. Chloe saying, uh, like this is my hus husband should play the old N64 Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask game. Yes. 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 Both should. yes. Your husband should, should play. If, it, if he, you know, he has fun and likes it, mm -hmm. then sure. I'm going to stand up. You don't know what that means? Ooh, it's toasty in here. It's probably all this whiskey. <laughs> it's all um, this barrel-proof barrel. Barrel proof barrel. That is the thing about this, though, about this brand that becomes a little difficult is because I'll be like, barrel bourbon. People will like, barrel proof bourbon? I'm like, no, barrel bourbon. Well, technically, it's barrel, barrel craft spirits. Barrel craft spirits. BCS, barrel craft spirits, because all these have been barrel whiskey. I wonder what about the Kentucky whiskey made it whiskey instead of bourbon, or are they just doing the, well, it used to be bourbon, now, it's, now whiskey it's whiskey because it's been finished. I don't know. We don't know. It seems like they would have said we would have started with 18-year-old Kentucky bourbon, bourbon, then finished it. But they said Kentucky whiskey. The other thing I'm curious about is how long were these aged in each of these? I don't think it said. Oh, does it? Oh, who needs readers now? Um, no, it doesn't say. Michelle is judging me for that box wine. Yeah, nobody yeah. was around to teach me good habits. Uh, I didn't know yet. In the early days. So yeah, it was, um, if anybody remembers, they might still make it. Uh, two for $5, five oaks wine from Rite Aid. I was a big fan of that. And some Behringer White Zen box wine in those early days before I found bourbon. Yeah. Also before I got a really bad hangover, so it didn't matter. Also, I liked Absolute Pear. And cranberry juice. Sick. Who was I? Disgusting. Don't know. Now, if I try that, I'd be like, this tastes like shampoo. Don't this know. This tastes like an herbal essence commercial. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Todd Ta Cooper saying punch the bag. Yeah, slap the bag. It's a game that you play with. The oh, with box wine. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Yeah. I can't play that That's anymore. True. If I have two glasses of, of red wine and it's too tannic, I have down for the count the next day. <laughs> <laughs> James Wolverton. James Wolverton. Thank you for that super chat. Thank you much. I'm gonna grab one we all went these. through a poor alcohol decision time, right? Except oh, for it sounds like for uh, sure. it sounds like Chloe didn't. Oh no, she's. It yeah. sounds like Chloe's been good from the start. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I I admitted on last live stream that I wanted the Jaeger machine um, when I was. Chad li 21. really liked all the the fancy mixed drinks because he wanted to be Tom Cruise from Cocktail. Uh, I just saw it. I would see it out of the bars. I'm like, that's cool. You can have three. You know, ice cold Jaeger bottles upside down. And How cold? Ice cold. Ice cold! All right, 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 all right. Hey, now, fellas. Yeah. Or, ladies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't make me break this down by myself. Or For nothing. For nothing. It's okay. I'll allow it. Okay. Oh, we got 11, 11 thumbs to go, peeps. <sighs> I'm hungry. Okay. <laughs> I didn't eat dinner before this, which is dangerous, because after lives, I'm always like, but Wendy's? <laughs> but Wendy's. But Wendy's? No, I have leftovers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> or I could just eat popcorn. That takes me back to my single days of a tall glass of Behringer, or no, red wine and a bowl of popcorn before mm. I married you and had, because that wouldn't sustain him. He's like, well, what's for dinner? If I said a glass of wine and popcorn, he'd be like... <laughs> like, See you later. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go get some grab some tacos. from the <laughs> through the drive-through. Ashley says sweetening the pot to two sets of samples giveaway if we hit 300. Whoa! Well, and we just we did. just hit 300. <laughs> Ashley, Ashley, you spoke too soon. Ashley, now look what you did. Wow, Ashley. Ashley, if you're ever in town, one day whenever you're allowed to be in town, shake it, shake, and shake, you're in town. shake it, shake it like a pot. Mm -hmm. You're seeing into that glass now. Mm -hmm. How's that glass like it? Likes it. Uh, Ollie Beyonce's and Lucy Lou's. Get on the floor. Get on the floor. That's what ages it. What? Beyonce's and Lucy, and Lucy Lou's. Lou's. Yeah. Not so much the Beyonce, but the Lucy Lou. She's not. Because that the was it like girl Charlie's anymore. Angels time. Which, I mean, no, I mean. Lucy, what, what, what? What's she TV been in since then? Show? She was on a TV show back then, too, right? I don't, was I don't she? know about that. Oh, Doug, thanks Maybe for not. the $10 Wendy's fund. I think James <laughs> Wolverton, who's actually in the chat, gave us a Wendy's gift card that we yep. still have some money on, too. Oh, it's not. We haven't used it all we up. We haven't used it all up. Well, we mm. can do that. Yeah. Probably not tonight. Thank you, Doug. And then Maybe. James saying, sing it. Well, I'd rather hear the Golden Girls, but you already did that. So. I did. I wish I could do Growing Pains. I feel like Growing Pains has a very... It's like a higher register. I can't sing anything, so and, um, I don't even feel comfortable singing "Happy Birthday" but in a group of people. Man, My I voice like is so terrible. The Growing Pains theme song and "Perfect Strangers." I've really kind of hit an '80s sitcom theme song nostalgia here lately. Yeah, I know. I have found myself. If you look in my YouTube history, um, I went all the way back to a show that I remember watching, but I'm just gonna... couldn't tell you anything about it. It was originally called. Valerie's family, or Valerie, then Valerie's family, and then Hogan's family. Yes. And it had Jason Bateman back when he was just a little kid. Really? He was like the older brother. Okay. And um, I found myself watching all the variations of Hogan's family, or what later became Hogan's family, and Valerie got kicked off the show. Bye, Valerie. Um, I don't know what you're talking about at all. It was so. a YouTube compilation of every season's version of the theme song. Hmm. Legit watched it all. You ever I, think like... I don't know what's wrong with me. Random question, but I think this goes back to the singing. Like, you ever think about the whole, you know, three, like a genie, three wishes type of thing? Mm -hmm. What would you wish for? Mm -hmm. I think one of my wishes would be to be able to sing anything I wanted and play any instrument I wanted. Like, uh. I would just wish for musical and vocal talent. There you go. And of course I would wish for more wishes, but apparently you're not allowed to do that. Like in this magical <laughs> world a where out. a genie exists, there's a That's rule. That's the one stipulation. You're Oh, there's rules here? We're yeah. dealing with magic. There's no rules. You can't get someone to fall in love with you if well, we're going by the Aladdin that. rules. And you can't wish for more wishes. And there might have been something else. You can't kill somebody? I forget. Um, 
I think I would wish for, yeah, the vocal, musical the vo talents. The vocal styling. Because that would be of... fun. You could just go do anything you wanted all the time. You, you want to sure. go do an open open mic night? Cool, you can. You want to make an album? Cool, you do that. want to kill some karaoke? Boom. Go do it. That would be so fun. Yeah. You just for your whole life. You want to go play the harp? Cool, just sit down and start playing that thing because you can do it. There you go. Hey, Jason. Jason Newman. Uh, did you get the bottle of Elijah Craig barrel prick? Bleh, not pit, prick. Barrel pick. From Whiskey Weekend, yes. Actually, we didn't do What's News. Um, and while we're here, we can do it. We'll nope. just do it real This quick. is the last time of Chad getting up. What else would you guys wish for? I don't know that I need to wish for unlimited bourbon. I feel like we kind of are already in that camp. Um, I mean, I, w I mean, is it wrong to wish for unlimited funds so that you could do good things with them? No. Is, I, feel like that, I feel like that's a wish that would backfire. Yes, we That's did. That's a wish that would backfire, right? We did get it, and we've already enjoyed, uh, I've already cracked into it and enjoyed it. So this Dang, we've been drinking a lot this week. <laughs> Devils in the Deetsville, um, hand selected by the Blind Rabbits, North Carolina. Uh, yeah, this was a pick that Jason was on, I was on, Natalie, um, Brad, yeah, what's, uh, uh, Perry. This Perry. is tasty. Perry was on it. It is. I would wish for a Taco Bell next door. Jake, I would wish for something like that, like a, a great restaurant next door, if the calories never counted. Oh, just... Could you wish for the calories to not Just wish for to calories not, count, not to count. But then would you die? Like, here's the thing is, I feel like genie wishes are like, you wish for this thing It's not thing a monkey spa. A very... I don't know. I don't trust it. That's a monkey spa. Completely different. Okay. Well, I feel like if you wish for the calories not to count, then you would just end up starving because the calorie none of the calories would count. oh well what if it was like they counted to like the maximum level like that you need and then they just stop then okay well i don't oh. know then you have no options though and if then also it's not just or... calorie count it's you know fat content it's uh you know bad cholesterol like none of that stuff so you could just eat yes that would definitely Nick would wish for the ability to communicate with anyone, even animals. That's a great one, to be able to speak and understand any language you want. That's a good wish. Like snakes? I well, see. We're in Harry Potter world now. I see. You're a Slytherin. Nick, the Greek, says, I wish y'all would do a Jaeger bomb. The, sorry there's no genie here. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate your super chat, though. <laughs> no, there is a reason to go deep into this, Drew. This is what we do when you, when you drink whiskey. Um, it's fun. It's like pretending if what would you do if you won the lottery? That's right. Obviously, it's not real. I uh, know. Ty Koopa and his Koopa Troopas. Um, you got This is a Justin's we house. We gotta get him little army men. Little little <laughs> Koopa Troopas. Um, this is Justin's house of bourbon here in uh, Lexington. This is their twelve-year-old single barrel. This Ooh, is batch that. three. Um, Todd was telling us the batch one and two never even made it snatched up so to quick. market or just like it's 122 proof can't wait to open up this guy and then you guys heard about the trunk incident with the trunk incident of 2020 the very old St. Nick eight year um, rye here is a a full bottle that we can now uncork that has not already uncorked itself yeah. so thank you Todd thank you're you, very Todd. kind yes. yeah uh, yeah it was so sad. It was. We have you have two minutes to get to super chats before the giveaway. Trev yells. Okay, so <laughs> at, at nine ten, I guess we're we're uh, we're well, calling it because we're gonna go watch the Alienist. The Alienist, you guys, TNT, they know drama. <laughs> what do they know? <laughs> Apparently, back in the turn of the century, people really said what and what? where, like Cool Whip, Cool on, Whip on Family, Family Guy. Guy. But it's like whenever they say their Dakota w Fanning, WHs, they really hit them hard with that airy. What? And where was the body found? Now we've ruined it for all of you because I've already, you've already ruined it for me because when I'm listening to them, every time they do it, I'm like, mm. Oh, she hits it mm. hard. Stop that. It's a character thing. Hard. Anyways. We were watching Snowpiercer on TNT, but I just, I just, the movie's so good and, 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 um. What about eight what's episodes her name? in? Jennifer Connelly does such a good job, but everyone else, character wise, I just feel like they're very flat. It's not entertaining to me. I think that the movie was so much better. The directing was. Are we going to so finish it better. though? Yeah, we're going to finish it. I okay. can't start it and not finish it. Right. Unless, well, what if I started it and not finish? I gave up on something. Walking Dead. Yes. Oh, that other thing with, uh, what was her name? Janelle? 
Oh, um, well, that's kind of, it's more of, it's kind of an anthology. Um, that, Homecoming. Homecoming. Yeah, I... Amazon. I, I, it's very, I don't know. The cinematography is really good, but I couldn't it just, get it. It didn't hook you after three... It didn't three, hook If me. it, it, it hook you after me. three episodes, then, I it mean, come on. It didn't hook me. Uh, Gerald saying, love your channel. Well, we're talking Thank about TV much. and movies now. So. And you got that super chat in just under the wire. Let's count it, referees. Um, we're calling it. Yeah, so now the uh, the super mega Ashley Campbell giveaway... Brought to you by Ashley and and with, with special thanks to Trev for uh, for basically counting being all the this administrator. He's doing all the paperwork. So now I guess he's going to uh, like. Do we pick it tonight, Trev? He'll give us say pick a number between blah and yeah. Blah. I just want to make sure he one. I assume and something. <laughs> no, between pick a number between seventy nine and one hundred. Two random numbers, one to fifty one, already have all the names randomized. Oh, okay, okay, great. You pick one number and I'll pick one number. Got it. Thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. Dang it! <laughs> no, no, it's twenty-seven. So twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. Yeah, it's not Mega Millions, but um, it's it's not. close. It's really. It's. I feel like. It's I close. mean, it's like almost like Mega Millions. Mm -hmm. Well, I gotta say, summarize. None of these were bad. We definitely had our favorites. And, and ones, that, but you know, I drank through all my favorites and I'm back to the Tonka truck. Oh, I, I refilled on the Madeira. I couldn't. And uh, I gotta say, the Tonka truck is when not, you're just having it by itself. I'm like, okay, I didn't like this the most, but it ain't bad. It's it ain't not, bad at all. No, none of them are bad. Yeah. I just didn't like, again, when we're at this level, tasting a limited releases of finished stuff all against each other, like, I'm nitpicky. I'm mm -hmm. gonna nitpick. Like, they're all good, but. I couldn't get over the finish on that one, and that's Absolutely. why it came in last. We have our winners. 27. Chloe! David Ott. And 38 is Chloe Watson. Who's been watching since she was 21? It pays to G watch its bourbon night. Ghost! <laughs> ghost. Uh, yeah, thank, thank you guys so much. And wow, and thanks to Ashley again. Yeah. Thanks to Trev for doing the randomized numbers. Thanks to Ashley for doing the samples. So very cool. What a fun little contest. Yeah. It is a great birthday gift. Drew's right. Woo Drew. Woo Drew. And congrats to Drew Bolin for having the winner of, of tonight's... Someone has good taste. Barrel whiskey. Who's got good taste? It's you. Uh, another little thing. I hope um, you're watching with your friends because it's you. <laughs> I I, uh, I I sent a, a pic of our of our samples to uh, to Perry, and he got these from the uh, distillery or from, the agency from the agency as well, which I think we disclosed in this episode, right? You did it at the beginning. Okay, we got these from the agency. Yeah. Um, that doesn't mean that we don't like them. No, no. Well, it doesn't mean we like them because of that either. It don't mean. But anyway, it really doesn't mean anything. Moral of the story is, he said that he got. Five different ones. Yeah. Now we can have a master evening of all. Yeah, he said we, we should. We can have a Perry's about share. to be a papa tasting. There you go. Yeah. Oh. So um, I think he may have already recorded that episode. Mm. I'm not sure if it is out yet. I'm behind on my episodes. Um, but when he sent me the picture, they, they were, were they looked more like this, oh, I believe. Yeah, yeah. So um, we can have a whole tune into this is my bourbon podcast. Oh. I love it. To hear more barrel craft spirits goodness. I sent him baby gifts, but from, well, from us, obviously. But I went through their registry and I was like, ooh, I do like the Very Hungry Caterpillar. Uh, I do like the um, Shit's Creek onesie. I'll take those things. All of these books that I love. Yeah. And the and the uh, glass drying rack that we have on our Amazon thing. Yeah, that they we have one for that, It was basically that. It's just a different model, I guess. Yeah. I was like... Basically, this is Sarah's favorite things gift to your child. Here you go. I mean, you gotta go with what you. You what gotta you know. go with what you know. Yeah. So he get and I think I, I may or may not have put they had like butt cream and I thought that you would think that was funny. Babies need butt cream Baby. apparently. Sometimes people need butt cream. Everybody just, needs butt cream. It happens. So I put that in there for laughs too. I think I, I mean, can't remember. Sometimes you just get too spicy on the tacos and. Don't you, go there, Chad. You need it. Uh, cool. Well, this was really fun. Um, yeah. Say bye, Sarah. Bye, Sarah. <laughs> there you go. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you guys uh, for our produced episode on Friday. 
live again on Sunday. I know we still haven't revisited the Wild Turkey uh, B.I.B. Well, maybe it should be a Wild Turkey episode because we also have to do the Rare Breed Forgiven. Oh, there you go. So. And we, yeah. Yeah, we should pull out the Forgiven, <gasps> the Rare Breed Rye, <gasps> the Rare Breed, the Wild Turkey Master's Keep, B.I.B. Shut up. 17 year. I like the Cornerstone. Cornerstone. Just to drink it. <laughs> yeah. Decades? Those. We'll just, pull out. we'll just bring them, bring them, just bring them. All six of them. We'll just do it. All we'll six just... of them, plus all those other things. It's like ten things. It's like a lot of things. Yeah, it's all. We'll things. just do some things. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, until then, uh, I'm gonna go eat some dinner. We're gonna go watch the Alienist. Alienist we... on TNT. They no drama. They're not sponsoring this episode. I wish, but yeah, um, there you go. Uh, yeah. I guess until then, you can drink more bourbon. You can drink more bourbon, like this glass says. There you go. All right. See you guys. <laughs>